Hello friends, and welcome to a review on the zones and the introduction of a really cool country report. So let's take a look at those charts that we've seen before. This really helps us to see those different zones. Remember, at the north and south poles, outlined by the Arctic and Antarctic Circle, the north and south frigid zones places that are significantly cold throughout most of the year. Then we have the south temperate zone, bordered by the Antarctic Circle and the Tropic of Capricorn. The northern temperate zone is bordered by the Arctic Circle and the Tropic of Cancer. And between those two tropics, the Torrid Zone, a place that is very hot year-round. Remember those temperate zones. We live in one of those temperate zones and we get all four of those seasons. One last little imaginary line here. That's right, the equator. So take a look at those zones for a moment and then let's move on to looking at that chart that showed us some of the vegetation in the world. And we looked at this and related it to the chart on zones, taking a look at what kind of um, climates and also vegetation would be in these different zones. We see a lot of deserts in the torrid zone and a lot of forests in the temperate zone as we get towards the frigid zone. Look at that tundra. Brr. We also looked at these charts, the people of the zones. This is our zone, uh, but you know life hasn't always been super easy in the temperate zone either. There wasn't always air conditioners and heaters and things like that, so we talked about how people survived in these zones in the past. We also looked at how people survived in the torrid and the frigid zones. And life here is still pretty rough sometimes. And in the past especially, the kind of foods that were eaten, the clothes that were worn, the buildings that were built, all were built for the needs of the people in these zones. So, what is your follow-up for this lesson? I'd like you to find an atlas or a map. You may also use a map online if you need to. And what we're going to look for is a world map. That's a pretty good world map, but it doesn't really tell me of the political boundaries, the countries. This map right here has those political boundaries. It tells me of each of those different countries' names. Now, if I look back at my charts, and these charts are available for you on the drive, I can see that the torrid zone is between 23 and a half degrees north and 23 and a half degrees south. The frigid zones are between 66 and a half degrees and 90 degrees on each side of the planet. I'd like you to select either the torrid zone or the frigid zone, and I'd like you to find a country that exists there today. The frigid zone might be a little bit more difficult, but there are some things up there. You're also welcome to explore down towards the colder southern areas of our world and see if there's anything down there. But let's see, here is the Tropic of Cancer and here is the Tropic of Capricorn. So in the Torrid Zone, all of these countries would be fair game. I'm going to select one of these countries that I am going to write a report. So maybe Mexico might be a place I'd like to explore, or Brazil, or Peru. What about the Congo? Hmm, or even the Sudan? India seems to be in there as well. Parts of Australia, Indonesia. There's so many places to look at. Do find a really cool country because we're going to work on a country report. And this outline is also available. It was in our project binder, and now it's up on the drive for you in a virtual form. You're welcome to print it out to help you. We're going to try writing a country report using paragraphs. And you've worked on writing reports about animals and people, but we're going to focus on an actual country, which is a big place. So our paragraphs might be a little bit bigger and full of beautiful details. This outline gives you some good ideas for your paragraphs, and you're welcome to also come up with some of your own. Notice in the first paragraph, we're going to introduce basic facts like the name, the continent it's on, a capital city, uh, maybe the biggest city, 
the square miles or area of the country and the population. You might even find some other basic info on it as well. The second paragraph is going to be about geography, like rivers, lakes, mountains, parks, interesting landmarks and places to see, maybe even deserts, or oceans, or seas that are nearby. And your third paragraph will talk a little bit about the history and culture. Maybe there's famous foods or famous plants. Maybe they have a national bird or a super awesome motto or song for the country. You're also welcome to explore other paragraph topics like, have you ever been to this country and what was your trip like? Would you ever like to go to this country? Check this out, find a cool country, and go ahead and start writing about it. I can't wait to learn about the countries you find in the Torrid or Frigid Zone. Have fun exploring!